This is why you need to understand the rise of artificial general intelligence on the battlefield. You know how in games like Call of Duty, we've got all these high-tech gadgets and stuff? Well, buckle up, because what I'm about to show you makes those look like child's play. We're diving headfirst into the world of AI warfare, and let me tell you, it's both mind-blowing and absolutely terrifying. I've seen some scary stuff in games, but this... this is real life. We're talking about machines that can think, adapt, and make decisions on their own. Imagine a battlefield where robots are calling the shots, where drones swarm like angry bees, and where the line between human and machine gets blurrier by the second. Alright, let's start at the beginning. Picture this. For centuries, humans have been duking it out on battlefields, right? We've gone from sticks and stones to swords, then guns, tanks, planes, you name it. But now, now we're entering a whole new ballgame. And it's called Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. Holy expletive, guys, this is some next level stuff. We're not just talking about dumb robots following orders anymore. No, no, no. These are machines that can think for themselves, adapt on the fly, and make decisions faster than any human ever could. It's like if you took the smartest general in history, gave them superpowers, and then made them immortal. That's what we're dealing with here. Can you imagine being a soldier on the ground, knowing that the enemy has machines that never get tired, never get scared, and can process a million different scenarios in the blink of an eye? Okay, so now that we've set the stage, let's get up close and personal with these metal monstrosities. Uh, I mean advanced AI soldiers. First up, we've got drones. But wait, there's more. How about robotic dogs that can run faster than Usain Bolt, never get tired, and, oh yeah, they're equipped with enough firepower to level a small town. And don't even get me started on the unmanned submarines lurking in the depths. These things can stay underwater for months, silently patrolling and ready to strike at a moment's notice. It's like playing the world's deadliest game of hide-and-seek, except you're the one being sought and losing means, well, you know. Now, let's talk strategy, because this is where things get really wild. You know how in RTS games you've got to manage resources, plan attacks, and outthink your opponent? Well, imagine if your computer could do all that but a million times faster and better than any human. That's what we're looking at with AI in warfare. These systems can process an insane amount of data in real time. We're talking satellite imagery, weather patterns, troop movements, supply lines, everything. And they can use all that info to come up with strategies that would make Sun Tzu's head spin. It's like having a supercomputer and a military genius rolled into one, except it never needs to sleep or eat. Alright, strap in. Because things are about to get geopolitical. You thought the Cold War was intense? Well, this AI arms race makes that look like a friendly game of tag. We've got countries all over the world pouring billions, that's billions with a B.I., into developing the most advanced AI warfare systems. It's like a high-stakes game of civilization, except the whole world is the map and the prize is global dominance. Let's start with the big players. The United States has DARPA, which is like if you took the smartest nerds in the country and gave them a blank check to create sci-fi weapons. Then you've got China, which is going all in on AI. They're pumping out papers on machine learning faster than I can keep up with my YouTube uploads. Okay guys, this is where things get really heavy. We've talked about how smart and powerful these AI war machines are, but now we need to address the elephant in the room. What happens when we give them the power to decide who lives and who dies? Imagine a scenario where an AI-powered drone has to decide whether to fire on a target that might be a terrorist hideout, but could also be full of civilians. The AI has to process all the available information and make a choice faster than any human could. It's a complex ethical and tactical challenge that we're still grappling with. How does a machine make that call? It's like playing a morality game, except the consequences are horrifyingly real. All right, folks, if you thought the last part was scary, you might want to grab a stuffed animal or something to hug because we're about to dive into some real nightmare fuel. Imagine a swarm of your own drones suddenly turning against you or an autonomous tank deciding to switch sides mid-battle. It's like if your allies in a strategy game suddenly became your enemies, except you can't just reload a save file. In video games, hacking is usually just a mini-game, right? But in real life, 
it could mean an enemy taking control of your AI-powered weapons. The potential for AI systems to be compromised or to behave in unexpected ways is a serious concern. We're dealing with technologies that could potentially outthink us, and the consequences of failure could be catastrophic. Okay, let's take a deep breath and dive into the ethical quagmire that is AI warfare. Because boy oh boy is it a doozy. We've been dancing around this issue, but now it's time to face it head on. Is it right to create machines designed specifically to kill? I mean, in video games, we don't think twice about mowing down enemies. But this is real life we're talking about. It's like we're creating a whole new form of life, and its sole purpose is warfare. That's some heavy stuff right there. On one side, you've got people arguing that AI soldiers could actually save lives. They don't get tired, they don't get scared, and they can make decisions based on pure logic rather than emotion. But this raises profound questions about the nature of warfare and the value we place on human judgment in matters of life and death. In theory, that could lead to more precise, less destructive warfare. It's like if you could play a war game with perfect accuracy and minimal collateral damage. Sounds good, right? Well guys, we've been on one hell of a roller coaster ride, haven't we? We've seen the incredible potential of AI in warfare, but also the terrifying risks. So where does that leave us? What does the future look like in a world where wars might be fought by Silicon soldiers? It's like we're standing at a crossroads, and the path we choose could change everything. On one hand, AI could make warfare more precise, potentially saving countless civilian lives. Imagine a world where conflicts are resolved with minimal casualties, where AI strategists find peaceful solutions that humans might overlook. It's like if we could end a game of civilization with a diplomatic victory every time. Sounds pretty good, right? But on the flip side, AI warfare could lead us down a much darker path. A world where wars are constant because they're easy to fight with robots. Where the line between peace and war becomes blurred because battles are fought silently by algorithms. The potential of AI in warfare is immense, but so are the risks. We must proceed with extreme caution and robust ethical guidelines, where humanity becomes obsolete on the battlefield and maybe even beyond. The future of AI in warfare is both exciting and terrifying. It's up to us to shape that future responsibly. And there you have it, folks. The rise of war machines. AGI on the battlefield. What a wild ride, huh? I don't know about you, but my brain feels like it's been through a mental obstacle course. We've seen the incredible potential of AI in warfare, but also the terrifying risks that come with it. It's like we're standing on the edge of a new frontier, and what happens next is up to us. Will we use this technology to create a safer world? Or will we accidentally usher in our own doom? I honestly don't know, and that uncertainty is both exciting and terrifying. But here's the thing, we're not just passive observers in this story. Every one of us has a role to play in shaping the future of AI and warfare. Whether it's staying informed, speaking up about ethical concerns, or supporting responsible AI development, we all have a say in where this road leads. So I want to leave you with this thought. The machines might be ready, but are we? Are we ready to face the challenges and responsibilities that come with this new age of warfare? It's a heavy question, I know, but it's one we need to start grappling with now. Because ready or not, the future is coming, and it's up to us to decide what that future looks like. So let's make it a good one, shall we? Thanks for joining me on this mind-bending journey. Until next time, stay curious, stay engaged, and maybe keep an eye out for any suspiciously intelligent toasters. See ya!